Hey, welcome back to Summit Sunrise. Sitting here now with Henry Barr. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. How are you doing this week? Good. Can't complain at all. Thank Fantastic, you. Henry. So let's first just start things off and uh, tell us exactly what you do. You've been selling real estate in the county for a long time. Well, for about 35 years. And to me, that's a long time. Yeah, in, <laughs> in Summit County. So it's definitely... And exclusively in Summit exclusively County. Exclusively in Summit wow. County. So. so if you need to find someone who knows a thing or two about the county and the history of it and where some of those maybe some of the hidden properties are um, where people don't necessarily just jump to for your oh, first home, second home, whatever, uh, you would have those answers for them. Oh, I'd have those answers and some others and definitely, you know, some interesting tidbits of, you know, when some of the roads, you know, when Frisco got paved and uh -huh. uh, some of the things we've seen over the years. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's some good stories going to that. So uh, how's the market been though for you guys? You, uh, in business? Actually, the market recently has, um, this year has been really good. Um, first quarter has been excellent. Nice. Um, second quarter is traditionally slows a little bit, but it's still bit quite busy right now. And uh, we're definitely up in volume. Um, prices are level about the same. Um, hovering right about the bottom where they've been, but um, there is definitely now a shortage in, of inventory in certain oh, selected wow. markets that we haven't seen mm -hmm. in about five years. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, and plus, I mean, the way the interest rates are as low as they've been, I mean, it's a it's a great time to still be looking at homes and it, for what is available. There, just because the inventory is low, that doesn't mean you're going to have you know lower quality on anything. Oh no, right now, I mean, this. In my mind, probably will be the last phenomenal buying market um, where you've got both, you've still got inventory out mm -hmm. there, you've got prices at historic lows, and you've got interest rates at unbelievably historically unbelievably low. low. So yeah. those, those three are definitely you know all in place still at the moment, but they're beginning to change. As a, I was saying in the inventory right now, is one of those little pieces is beginning to change, and I mm -hmm. think we'll see some of the others change before the years. Well, out. and speaking of some great properties that are available, mm -hmm. at least in our market, uh, we. Uh, are talking about a particular property called, uh, it's at West Coyote Drive, Willowbrook yep. Meadows, and that's a subdivision in Silverthorne? That's in the north end of Silverthorne. Okay. It is a great neighborhood mm -hmm. comprised of mostly locals. Um, it has some short-term rentals, but the, by probably 80 to 90 percent of the homes are occupied by uh, locals either as their primary residence or have actually rented the properties. But um, this is a really unique property and an extremely great property. Now you see some shots there flashing on the screen and you can see it looks like maybe some updates have been on it or do you know how old the uh, property is? Yeah, the property was built in the early 90s by mm -hmm. one of the county's premier builders as his own home and that's the only family that's lived there oh, wow. and then they've remodeled it recently oh, okay. to keep up with the times mm -hmm. and um, it sits in the unique location in the back of Willowbrook on Willow Creek which is a really desirable and unique location right there in the back with a creek in the back. Absolutely, and, and, a, and a yard. I mean, yeah. you can't argue with yeah. having some yard space in Summit County. And actually yeah. has some mature landscaping that okay. has grown up over the, the last 20 I years. Bet, yeah. And uh, that's also fairly unique out in uh, Summit County to have some mature landscaping <laughs> at this bet. point. Something that, it, you know, didn't, that took when yeah, it was planted exactly, and was able to grow. Because that was all a meadow before the houses were built. Oh, there wasn't right? a tree okay. out there. Okay. Uh, well, so what would be some advantages? Because you're saying north end of, of Silverthorne. Uh -huh. And um, I mean, what, why would somebody want to look at a location like that? Well, this is a great area, um, both for, you know, families, for singles, um, for, you know, just locals living here. It's also a good second home, but really, this is uh, for pretty much primary residents. Um, it is quiet, easy living in the town of Silverthorne. Mm -hmm. um, has adjacent to two hiking trails that uh, go off the spur back to Vale, and uh, they hook up to the Gore Trail and go um, to Green Mountain, or go to the uh, will go to the Vale uh, Red Buffalo Trail. Yeah. So, and it's along the creek. You hear the creek year, run year round. And if you like moose, I'm not going to tell you if you see a moose, I'm going to tell you you will see a moose and they will be in your backyard. Fantastic. Yeah, especially in that area of town. Absolutely. You bet the wildlife will be out. Yeah, and so. I mean, you got to be kidding me, though. People who are going to live there most likely active, want to find trails? Yeah. No, nonsense. <laughs> and also has a great town park right in the front with a kids' fishing pond. Oh, great. Okay. Um, that is stocked by the town of Silverthorne for kids 14 mm -hmm. and under. I'll certainly give the viewers a better idea of where that probably is yeah. in, in town mm -hmm. of Silverthorne as well. And it's uh, just a great piece of property. I mean, the three-car garage. 
is in there, uh, three bed, three bath, and that's three full bathrooms yep. then, mm -hmm. and uh, 2,400 square feet, just over 2,400 yeah, just square A little feet, bit so. over 2,400, has um, two separate living, uh, living room areas, mm -hmm. um, large kitchen, all faces out to basically to the south, um, the living area does to the south, uh, great protected views, you look over both the creek, the wetlands, and open space of Ruby Ranch in the back. That is outstanding. Sounds like a nice piece of property to me. And if you're interested in maybe having a viewing or uh, contacting Henry Barr, well, what would be the best way to do that? Um, you can contact me either by email, by okay. my um, web page, by mm -hmm. Facebook, or by my phone numbers. My uh, direct number is 368-7643, or my cell number is 389-7533. There you go, offering up his cell phone information as well, so you know, easy to, to uh, reach out to and, and get a hold of it. I'm sure you'd be a, just a big help to anyone who's even just in the, the mindset of looking at property. Yeah, if you just want to just get information, mm -hmm. real low key, real easy going. Um, we'll give you the information you want, but we're not going to pester you. <laughs> Fantastic. Henry, thanks for coming in this Thank morning. you very much. Good to see you. Thanks for spending time thanks. in the studio. And right now we're going to take another quick break and be back with more Summer Sunrise, so stick around.